topic for today is all about terms related to circle. Before we proceed to our topic, let us define first what is a circle. A circle is a set of all points with the same distance from a fixed point called the center. The center is used to name a circle. Example, circle O. Or you can use this symbol for circle, this symbol for circle, then followed by the center of the circle, which is point O. Let us now proceed to our main topic, which is terms related to circle. Let's begin with radius. So radius is a segment whose end point are at the center or are the center and a point on the circle. It is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. Example, we have line segment AO, line segment DO, and line segment EO. So based on the definition, it is a segment whose end point are the center and a point on the circle. So based on the example, we have line segment AO. So from point A, which is a point of the circle, to the center of the circle, which is point O. Same as true with the line segment DO, which is point D, is a point of the circle to the center of the circle, which is point O. And also for the line segment EO, which is point E, is a point of the circle, and point O is the center of the circle. So those are the example of radius. Next, let's move now to chord. So chord is a line segment that has its endpoints on the circle. Example, we have line segment BC, line segment DE, and line segment AC. So we have line segment AC. So based on the definition, so line segment that has its endpoints on the circle. So we have line BC, so from point B, which is point on the circle to point C, which is also a point on the circle. So line segment BC is an example of a chord. Next, we have line segment DE. So from point D, which is point on the circle, and line uh, from from point D to point E, so point E is a point on the circle. Same as true with the line segment AC, which is from point A, which is point on the circle, and point C, which is also a point on the circle. So that is the example of a chord. Next, we have the diameter. So a diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. It is, a, it is the longest chord of a circle and its length is twice as long as its radius. Example, we have line DE. So if you notice, we have line TE, 
So it is passes through the center of the circle, which is from point D, and it passes to center of the circle, which is point O, then to point E. So this is the only chord that passes through the center of the circle. Notice that its length is twice as long as its radius. So a diameter, it contains two radius to form, to form. So we have radius, which is line segment DO and line segment EO. So it twice. So therefore, a diameter, it contains two radius. Okay. Next one, we have the tangent. So tangent is a line, a segment, or a ray that intersects a circle at exactly one point, and the point of intersection is called point of tangency. Example, we have line FG. So we have here, from the given figure, we have line FG, wherein G is the point of tangency or the point of intersection between the circle and the line. So the point there is what we call the point of tangency, which is point G. And lastly, we have the second. Second is a line, a segment, or array that intersect a circle at exactly two points. So based on the given figure, so an example of that is line AC. So a line segment, a line segment, array, array or a line. Okay, so notice that the second is also a chord, but it is extended chord. So that is the uh, characteristic of a second. And that intersect a circle at exactly two points. So this is an example of a second. Okay, here we have an activity. So we have activity one. So the instruction is identify and name the following related terms of the circle A. For the number one, we have the radii. Number two, chord. Number three, diameter. Number four, tangent. And number five, seconds. So let us begin with the, in identifying the related terms of a circle with the number one which is the radii. So when you're talking about radii, it is the plural of radius. So what will you do now? So let's identify the radius of the circle A. So the circle or the radius are line segment ER line segment TA and line segment UA. So those are the radius of circle A. For the number two, we have chord. So the chord of circle A are line segment VW, line segment TW, and line segment TU. So this is the line segment TU. Next, we're moving to number three, which is the diameter. So when you're talking about diameter, it is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. So the only chord that passes through the center of the circle is line TU. 
So the diameter is line T U. This one. Okay. Next, let's move now to tangent. So the tangent is line R S. So based on the figure, it's shown that line R S only intersect one point of the circle which is the point R or what we call the point of tangency so the tangent is line RS and lastly the number pi which is second so the second of circle A is uh, line TW TW so it is an extended line okay so that is the answer of this activity one we could try this activity two so the instruction is identify and name the following parts of the circle a so it's up to you if you want to pause because the answer will be shown at the end of this video For, for more videos on mathematics, please don't forget to subscribe.